All right, guys. First thing is first. Got a nice transformation coming. Young man got a lot going on up top. He just pretty much want to low tape. So I'm just going to make that happen. All right. First thing you got to do, you got to pick this thing up. He got a lot going on up there, like I said. So, picking out is the first thing to do. Yeah, I could have jumped in there with my one. But, you know, picking out is just makes for a better haircut. So, here we go. Got my BGCR. Got my one. And all I'm going to do is just I'm going to make sure I stay with the brain and I'm going to just cut it. Stay with it and just cut it. Usually I comb one couple. But we just trying to get rid of all this bulk, all this hair. So I'm just going to over it. Give him a quick look on strokes here and there. Alright. Now, I take my Andy's Masters and I put my one guard on there. And I close it up a little bit just to clean up the character. Just to make it look a little better. Nice little camera angle, but uh, stick with the barb. Alright, here we go. Uh got my Slimline Pro Ally. And I'm just going around the ear. Making sure not to cut the client because they are shot. I modified them a little bit. Kind of zero gap since when you buy them, they not zero gap. Also, you got to make sure that you try to stretch the client's skin a little bit, get a better curve, kind of lift up on that without nicking the ear. Now we're going into the edge up. Alright, I like to start in the middle right like above the nose and go side to side or I hit one side and then I go to the other side. To me, that's easy. For you, for anybody else, they may do it a different way. But this is just the way I chose. So here we go. Uh, I did the edge up for the most part. I had to skip that part. So now we're going to go into the taper. So I turned my slimline pros around. As to not give them a hard line. And as you can see, I'm making a kind of a nickel, maybe a dime size circle. Don't go no higher than the top of his ear. And now I got my five off. Some people say five off, five off. But my five off is detachable guard from my DCR. And I'm going to follow that up with a three off. There is a four in between, but I don't have a four. So I'm going to make do with what I got. And it actually turned out pretty good. So after that, I'm going to get my Andy's Master. And I'm going to leave it open. Open guard. No guard, open clip. Sorry about that. And then, you know, you're just gonna stretch your skin. You're gonna just attack that, that bolt right there, that line. And I'm gonna throw on my zero guard. I'm gonna use the corner. Open it up all the way. I'm gonna use my corners a little more. Alright? Now, the thing is, the line is always there. You take out pieces of it, that's what they need to do. Take out the whole line, what you got left, another line. This piece is over to do. Now we get in the back of the neck. Slim line pros still. Like I said, I modified them. This is what I got my to do the end. Going over the ear again. As you can see, the camera angle is a lot closer. My cameraman had to bounce, so now I'm, I'm solo. I'm doing it with one hand. And like I said, normally I cut one, cut one. But right now, I only got one hand. So you see how this is my finger here. It still turned out pretty fine. And like I said, the other side, it's like a little dime. No higher than the top of the ear. And I just want to ball it out. Turn them upside down. Let's take a, not a hard line. And here we go, same, like the other side, five off. The name of the game is to be consistent, all right? The same thing I did for the other side, I want to do for this side. And I'm just using the corner. 
and you're going up maybe a quarter of an inch at a time. I could go up more, but my client don't want to high face it. on a nice point. And just like the other side after that, I'm going to switch to my three off. Like I said, I don't have a four, but I make do with what I got. And I'm just using the corners again. Same way, just like the other side. Take our pieces of that line, just so you can Damn, get my Andy's mask in, lever open. And I'm just flicking out. I'm not going straight up, I'm flicking out. Soften up that line a little bit so I can come back after that, just like the other side, my zero. Zero open. Simple, simple stroke, flicking it out each time. Gotta remember that flick out, flick out. Now close it up a little bit to come and follow that. And you can lever open. Cause that zero bar open still a little bit at the Now here we go. This is a table. Not a table, but just to show you. Five off four, three off away, one, one a one half, two. You follow that, it's good. The blend will always come out perfect. And they just soft go and so up. Three, three and a half, four. Now here we got the zero feel. Just, you know, doing some level work, picking up, pick up the process, work, up. Now here's the one. Just to go a little further in specifically, take that little dark spot out, that's the soft. I had to get it out. I'm just working it. Cause remember, guys, what I used was the one guy cut it here. So you know I'm not gonna go no higher than that. Now I'm just hurt. And I get them little hairs that I couldn't reach. You go. Know, that one good job. And that taper is turning out pretty nice. Yeah. I did. Now same way I did the sides. I'm gonna do the back. Now here, instead of choosing, making a soft part outside the turn around, make it a higher point. But still, a lot easy. Just a lot easier to just, just make a soft line, but the hard one it is a challenge. I like challenge. So clean it up. Same thing. Get that five off. I go up for his niche. Now the other thing about this guy, I put a higher line, but when I use that five up, I have to keep the line pro to, to go down there and clean that bottom up. So it ain't hard, it ain't soft, it's a hard line. And here I decide to turn around and do the same thing. I don't know why, to be honest, but I think it was just to get the hair that was hanging over. I couldn't quite get it without combing it down. Now here we got three off. Same step. This part of the head, guys. Alright? Assist. Assist. Practice over and over and over. I'm continuing to get better. I ain't the best. I'm going to clean the piece, but I, I, I'm trying. I'm to get there. Now here we go again, same thing like I said, lever open, flick it out, flicking it out. And I'm just going to be opening and closing, doing some lever work, clean up under that. I got left off for that with a three off, just a little gap in between the three off. My lever wide open, so I like that one, clean a little bit to clean up. Got my conditions back there, clean that flow. I said mop the dishes. <laughs> you gotta clean them dishes back there, man. The fade turned out good. The line turned out straight. Line never, never, never complain. But yeah, here we go. Now I got my zero opened all the way up. And I'm flicking out, flicking out, flicking out. Just doing some level work. 
after that closing it up whatever it open it's still a nice little gap to put you in that and whatever by itself without the cover to do without my use of my other hand without the comb but I'm making it happen guys I'm trying I'm gonna get better at this here we go now, as you see it's the wine at the bottom and line at the top now when I cut this hair I use the one open so I close it in all the way just kind of smooths it out back there even it open with the catch under the hair, so I close it to smooth it out. So if I open it back up and I flick out again, then I'm taking out more hair. But right now I'm just going to go back down there at the bottom and clean that bottom up. Get that line up down there. Still a little back, a little thick. And most of the time, man, you know that light. Confused when you gotta take your eyes off the lens, the tape, look at something else. TV, couch, look outside, then look back at the cut. Get somebody else to come look at it. Hey, take a look at this. Look at what you see. You know what I mean? I, I take all criticism bad, good. I just want to get better. You tell me you see a spot, I'm gonna work at it, try to get it out. I'm be mad to point out a flaw. That's what I'm saying. Ask me. Don't be scared to ask somebody, hey, come take a look at this. I clean up that bottom. That zero back on. Yep, getting that out. Using the corner. Maybe the first five, six teeth. And use the corner. And it's turning out pretty good as you can see. It's turning out very well. Now here I'm just gonna go back to my seam line curl. I just tap that line again. So I just feel some hairs kind of got out of place. You know, just have to look at. Perfection, perfection. See, it sped up a little bit. I ain't want you to have to sit through this whole, whole comb. But yeah, I mean, it came together pretty well, as you can see. And I'm touching up the line one more time. Alright, this is the cut. If you like it, show your love, like, comment, subscribe. There will be more videos to come. I will get better at this editing and recording. 